All right. Well, we're here. Whoa. What the heck is going on here? That was weird. All right. Well, we're here. Whoa. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, we're here. A day early this week, ahead of Thirsty Thursday. So we figured we'd uh, we answer your guys' questions today, since tomorrow we'll be all tied up. Um, we did run into a handful of you guys today, which was awesome. That was sweet to see at Copper. Uh, great timing on the chairlift, actually, when I just showed up. Everybody was standing there. So that was awesome. Uh, if you're just joining, Avery's got some technical difficulties going on right now. So we'll see if he gets that all fixed or some weird lag going on and everything. But we'll see if he can rejoin and everything. Um. But yeah, should be fun tomorrow. Probably going to get there around 8.39 ish. Pick up your tickets at the window, all that jazz. Make sure you bought them yesterday. If not, you're going to be buying them full pop either today or tomorrow when we get there. But we'll answer some questions while uh, we wait for Averin to get back. So we'll see what we got. All right, we got this one from Mike. There he is. I'm back. That was okay. weird. It was like echoing and shit that it shouldn't have been doing. I don't, it does this every once in a while. So, all right. Yep. All so, right. I filled him in on Thirsty Thursday while we're doing this day in advance, all that jazz. We we're okay. going to get into some questions. I told him. We're going to get there around 8.39 tomorrow, that sort of thing. Pick up your tickets at the window, all that jazz. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All so right. I got this one from Mike. Okay. So Mike asks, hey, Angry, looking to snag a battalion deck, what would you recommend for a rad dad that rides mostly resorts and might chase pow once in a while? I'm 5'9", 230 pounds, size 9 boot. Thanks. Stay awesome. I mean, that sounds like a Goliath to me. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Like a I was like sixty-one or sixty-three or whatever it is. Not the wide, but the no, the regular. Yeah. So yeah, but, the standard Goliath. He'll be set. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's where you want to go. All right, we'll take this next one from Ted G. Hey fellas, my buddy has a one fifty-six Jones Aviator and is looking for something softer or volume shifted to pair with the East Coast riding for cruise and blues side hits and tree runs. 205 says it is 10.5 boots and he's missing three teeth. So what do you got, TC? I would definitely think, I mean, if you wanted to stay the Jones route, go with like a mine expander. Otherwise, I was thinking like a war pig would be totally fine for him. Like that's gonna be nice and soft, and it'll definitely be softer than his aviator. Yeah, war pig probably going this. Um, even a psycho yeah, candy if you wanted didn't want to go crazy volume shift, but then yeah. Uh let's see. Well, it's like maybe a K2 party platter. Get a little camber yeah. in your life. So yeah. All right. We got this super chat from Ted G. Hot soup coming through. Let's see if we can get that for this man. <laughs> Well, you got yourself a sticker pack, sir. Nice. Email us info at angry snowboarder with your mailing address, and TC will get that in the mail eventually mm -hmm. at some point <laughs> in the future. No guarantees. All right. We got the Send It Syndicate. I asked a similar thing before, but I'm a big old senile dude at 6'4, 255 pounds, 51 years of age. Best camber, all mountain board that won't look tiny under me. Well, that rules out volume shifted. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't know. You could do like a shadow ban. You could do an algorithm, Mercury, Jones Mountain, Twin. Wait till next year and pick up the new Assassin or Assassin Pro. Mm -hmm. There is a noticeable difference in the flex in those two. Don't get this year's Assassin, though. No. Yeah. What do you think, sir? I mean, that pretty much covers them because... I mean, I wouldn't go with like a manifest or anything because at 255, you're going to bend that thing so easily. Uh, but like, I mean, you could probably go with like an artifact. That probably wouldn't be a bad choice for you. An artifact for all mountain board? 
Isn't that a directional twin? No, that's a true twin jib board. Are you thinking of the agent? Oh, there you go. Yep, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> there yeah. You go. yeah, you could do the agent. That's what I'm thinking uh, of. You could do the new resort twin, theoretically, the bigger size from Spring Break, or even maybe an indoor survival. Although at 255, I'd say almost go with an outsiders instead, but get like the 59 or the 60 ish or whatever it is. Because at 255, you're still going to be able to press it, but you're not going to kill it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's give this man a spin. Oh, next question gets a spin. All right. I'll take this one from your guitar one. Any good sales on bindings that would pair well with the LibTech Raspin? Looks like Evo's started their spring sale. I've noticed stuff is 10 to 20% off, but Christie's is blowing out old ride bindings at like 40 to 50% off right now. So with the Rasmin, I would look at like a C8 or if you're like on Evo, maybe a Rome Katana, a DOD, a Union Force or an Atlas, depending on it. And then TC's favorite, the Jones Mercury. Mm-hmm. Or an Astro. You can go with Italian Astro as well. Yeah, Italian Astro. Um, nope. I think Buckman's is actually selling those at 30 or 40% off. Yeah, that's a good deal done. Yeah, so there there are deals to be had out there. And this spring se sale season is going to be phenomenal because so many shops are sitting on stuff. We were in Gravity yesterday, and they still have Aeronauts and Black Snowboards of Death. Mm -hmm. They even had a few dance halls, which was surprising. That was surprising, actually. But yeah, well, actually, they've been they've been moving Solomon, so that was very yeah. surprising. Like, yeah. All right, let's mm -hmm. give this man a spin. Oh, TC rig this. All right, so from Carpe Diem Logistics for tomorrow. How are them roads looking? I don't know, sunny, dry. So probably it's supposed to snow tonight. So they might be have like an inch or two on it. So the main goal is at 10 a.m. We're all meeting in the base area right by the main chairlift on the front. That's if you get there earlier, you're probably going to run into one of us. It's a small area. I'm going to be in the parking lot at about 830, I think, between 8 and 830 tomorrow because I've got to meet up with some reps and whatnot. TC will be rolling in after. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we're going to meet up. If we get there early, you want to demo something from Nerd or Rosnall, just find Travis from Rosnall or Jordan from Nerd. Um, you'll see us around. We're there. Uh, make sure you get your ticket at the ticket window and stuff too. Um, and then 10 o'clock is the big meetup. And from there, it's just good times, good vibes. Mm -hmm. you know? It's pretty. It's, it's a pretty small area. So like, if you don't see us right away at 10, you can probably find us. I'll be wearing a maroon jacket. Just so everyone knows, like I got a maroon L1. I think I'm going to wear the maroon jacket tomorrow. I think it's actually how warm is it supposed to be tomorrow? That's the question. High of 30 or something like that. I think it's going to be warmer than get colder as the day goes on. Let's see. Um, I don't think for a test for let's see. Two, two, two. Wednesday, Thursday, let's see. Temperature 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's um now it's looking like it's gonna be in the high 20s probably tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be in a maroon jacket, L1 jacket, black helmet, black pants, and I'll be riding my ride shadow band from the first year with the space dagger skull on it. So we'll but yeah, so. Yeah, so that's that's kind of everything for tomorrow. All right. Got this one from Danny Garcia. Hello, my dudes. Would my Union Ultras be too soft for the indoor or the resort twin, or would you bump up to the Astro ASM or Force? Uh, it's your call. I mean, you can get away with it. If you're on a budget, just roll with it. But if you're looking to replace, I would probably honestly go with a Force over the Astro ASM for either of those boards. Just a better matchup, in my opinion. So, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this one from Nixie. 
My wife and I have coined the shiny one piece skier outfits, baked potato people. No, no, they were microwaves. They were the microwaves of Aspen when they came out. There was a whole Instagram devoted to the microwaves of Aspen. So they were called microwaves. Usually seen carrying their gear down the mountain after getting their Instagram photo at the top. Hashtag fat skier family. They literally look like fat skiers. Uh, all right. Let's see. Got this super chat from Orion. Is my calendar wrong? Been on the mountain the last two live feeds. Hashtag spray skiers. We're a day early. We're a day yeah. early. Because tomorrow we will not be around at all. Well, you got yourself a small sticker pack. You know how to claim it. So make sure you email us info at angry snowboarder with that mailing address and we'll get that out there to you. So let's see what's next. Oh followed up from him again i'm considering grabbing a 2024 battalion party wave or the plus is the plus that much stiffer would be replacing my power racer starting to find it too soft for what i do it if you're finding the power racer too soft the regular party wave is going to be too soft you're going to want that plus then yeah yeah so yeah all right and then we got this super chat from mike t Spin hashtag don't let the T bar get you. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow the T bar <laughs> challenge on the backside of Ski Cooper begins. I've been warning people. I was like, for those that can't ride the T bar, you get to go first, so we can all heckle you from below. We're gonna be like, oh, first time ever riding it. Have fun. <laughs> We're gonna shame you publicly, and then if you get a little cocky, you get to ride with me. And we're not going nuts to butts. It's nuts to nuts. And I'm going to talk shit the whole way up. <laughs> Stepping on your board, kicking you over. Ugh. Oh, Vale Resorts got hacked, I guess, today. Hmm. Huh. Oh, try again. Bummer. <laughs> Ryan Weddle, all, all rip, no slip, but will there be nips? Yeah, on the ground. Toe side <laughs> powder boners. Ugh. All right. This is a bummer from Paul DeVille. The stoke ended for me Thursday with a broken back. Get some collagen peptides, Aww. rest up, do your PT. You'll be back. Uh, oh, I like this one from Josiah. What's the over under on one of us eating it on the T bar? The bigger question is which one of you is going to rip the snow fence out with the T bar <laughs> handle and shoot it up into the bull wheel like that guy last year? That's what I would I'm say. About, for. I'm going to say two and a half on the T bar. Oh, I'm going with five. Five? So you're about five. over, huh? Five, just a solid five. Solid five. I, I, yep. I, I, I can already pick who's going down. <laughs> I'm just sitting there waiting. It's going to be great. The bigger thing is if the T-bar stops halfway up, like last year on the steep section, who's going to get tired midway and be like, fuck it, I'm going back to the bottom. That's fair. Because <laughs> that happened to me and you last year. Yes, it did. We were at the worst spot. I literally just sat on the T bar and was just like, ah, yeah. it's too much. It's too much. Oh, it was awful. All right. This question's for you from Nate David. Can you do a drunk snowboard review, tipsy at least? <laughs> Probably not. He's you not know how long that would take to film. That would take so long to film. It already takes long enough as it is. And then you're just a drunk me rambling, just not knowing when to stop. It would be kind of funny, though. It might be a really long review, actually. 45 minutes later, it would be like, what the hell was he even reviewing? Yeah. yeah he just started talking about everything. Pulling boards yeah. off the wall, grabbing them from a different room. <laughs> he, he left for 25 minutes. The dog Still mic'd up in. the whole time. <laughs> Camera was just running. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Jason Evangelista. Evening, gents. Hashtag spray skiers. Always spray skiers. It's good. Oh, it's going around. You got nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 bounced. Click the links. Click the links. Oh. I like this one though from Cole Pappas. I'm ready to eat it on the tea bar tomorrow. Going nuts to nuts on my never summer board. At least I don't have clues. <laughs> Funny thing about clue. So I filed a complaint with the consumer safety commission after my horrible experience because I felt they were unsafe. And uh, I got an email back and this is, this is what it says. Hello, Mr. Lefebvre. You submitted a complaint regarding the Clue Freedom 1.0 snowboard bindings. Do you have some time in the coming week to discuss the product? Do you still have the binds? If so, are you willing to provide them as a sample for our engineers to analyze? And I told them I was free and that I have no problem letting them take those bindings as long as I can get them back so I can put them into the vault of bad ideas. So in 10 years, when someone tries to reinvent the fucking wheel again, that doesn't know what they're doing. I can be like, has anyone remember these? <laughs> See, yeah. Well, we got a question for you, TC, from Rich Shinnazy. I just bought some Jones Mercury's. After just adjusting straps, it seems the ratchets don't tighten down super tight. Before they stop tightening, is that common? Hmm. I haven't had that problem on mine. Or I can just like ratchet those things all the way until there's no ratchets left. Um. No, I haven't seen that. I wonder if is it on both or just one. I'm like, just wondering how bulky eight? the actual boot is, and if it's putting so much yeah. pressure that it's it's not gripping the ladder and it's just stripping it because it's yeah. not lined up right. Like like you might need to move the heel strap over one more to mm -hmm. max it out so yeah yeah no i haven't had that i haven't seen anybody with that either so yeah. maybe try to center it a little bit more like your ankle strap and it might not happen anymore but yeah that's yeah that's kind of what i was thinking so mm -hmm. all right we got anthony hum ice coast ontario pray for snow you guys got robbed this year getting yeah. up to 10 celsius for the next two weeks fuck my life your guys' season is probably done. Like at this yeah. point, like. Oh, you got cucked. No, oh, you got nothing. No, you, didn't. you got nothing. <laughs> you didn't get cucked. You're lucky. That's better than getting cucked. You're lucky. <laughs> So, all right, we got slip knotted. Uh, what would be better for groomers carving side hits? Not much switch riding, park jumps only, no boxes, no rails. Capita Aeronaut, K2 Alchemist, GNU Gremlin, Capita Megadeth, Capita Mega Merc, or any recommendations? Uh, Nix the Alchemist, Nix the Gremlin. Well, no, you can kind of keep the Gremlin in there. Aeronaut, I mean, personally, you're not. Not much switch riding, just hitting park jumps and carving. Probably go Megadeth, maybe Gremlin or Aeronaut. Or I would say fuck it and get a Karua transition finder. Why would you get rid of the Alchemist on that? Too stiff. Okay. Park jumps. I would that's yeah, not a board I'd want to go hit park jumps with. I guess. That, that that's that's my one takeaway on that. Unless you're going all straight airs, then I'm, okay, fuck it, get yeah. it, go for it. But yeah, that's fair. Carve, okay. yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, because I'd probably just go, I'd go Aeronaut, Mega Death, then Mega Merc. I think the Gremlin's got a little bit too much backseat camber for hitting jumps and like spinning off them, for my taste well, just, at least. It's, it's tail is like this long. That's, that's the yeah. problem with it i mean you can straight air a, a jump with it i've done it it's good it's got good grip but i mean if i wanted like just raw carving power probably go alchemist then era not megadeth and like that order yeah. but if i wanted to boost side hits and hit park jumps i think like mega merc is probably the most well balanced of all of them like for everything yeah, i can see that 
directional. The other thing is the Megadeth does have a thinner base. Next year it gets that thicker black base on there. So it's like, which I've got one for you to ride. Thick. Yeah. I'm in so, it. Yeah. So. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. From Beziums, it hath been decreed when I'm on the long go, I become Arthur Strongo. <laughs> you are a fucking Sasquatch of a man. Yeah. You what size fun. is he riding today? 61. Okay. It, it still looks small. So that's why I was wondering. <laughs> well, he could have busted out his commissioner. He could have. Gone really fast. Oh, yeah. So. You should just ride the 203. Everyone. Everyone should ride a 203. Ollie, some slow signs. Be the real Arthur Longo. All right. Got this one from your guitar one. Looking for a board for an intermediate to advanced rider. Looking for something good for steeps, moguls, and trees. Six feet, 180 pounds. Fuck moguls. Fuck that shit. <laughs> That's fucking skier shit. Watched someone going yeah. through it yesterday, and I was like, that doesn't even look fun. It looks awful. That looks fucking awful. Why would you yeah. do that? Um, <laughs> this is hilarious to go back. Sorry. The Vail Resort's getting hacked. My my friend Kevin's in town, and he's like with some friends, and he's like, Jess and Justin got their drinks comped because all point of sales are down. They are being held hostage by a hacker, evidently. <laughs> I heard like, somebody hacked... Somebody hacked one of the resort groups yesterday too. Oh. And and said uh they had to like give up four million dollars to get their systems back. I think they just turned down they just shut the system down. Just just shut it like, screw it, we'll just shut it down. We're not paying them four million. So I don't know if it's the same same group or what, but hmm. I could see Vale being like, fuck it, we don't pay terrorists. Yeah. Everyone's a season pass holder anyways. <laughs> yeah, like whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I was that's kind of funny though. What do you do? You don't have to pay for parking then. I'm going, I'm going straight to the, the most expensive lot they have. Actually, if the whole system's down, you don't have to show your season pass. It's Fucking run a buck on the mountain and spray everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck it, what are you gonna do? You can't put me on a blacklist. You can't even access it. <laughs> Fucking pull a target and Robbins and fire a tech nine off from the chairlift. <laughs> Could have went there with our icon passes today. They couldn't scan shit. <laughs> Good. The ski free day. <laughs> you just get away with murder. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lawless country out there. Yeah. Sorry. Anyways, back to the question. <laughs> Going off the rails already. That's how we do things around here. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, an intermediate to advanced rider, you want something that's good in steeps and moguls like Jones flagship comes to mind. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, let's see. I was thinking of Rome Ravine. Yeah. But like that thing's money in the trees. Yeah. So much fun. That one's uh, solid. Even the Rome stale fish. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know. You could just... Like, could probably do like a deep fake. Yeah. Or grab, depending on how advanced to intermediate that is. Have a moderator. Yeah. I mean, Kevin yeah. Mercury. Yeah. Yeah. You got you got options. Like, find something that's kind of like all mountain free ride, which I think we have our top five all mountain free ride list up. Also, for anyone that's a beginner, we did put TC put out the quickest uh, top five <laughs> beginner boards list today. Yeah, I didn't want to confuse all the beginners, so we just got straight to the point on that one. You straight know? to the point. If you play it at two times the speed, you'll be done in under a minute. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, we got this one from Gene Graves. Kept air or not for next year, we'll have some wide. But will there be anything bigger than a 61? Let me check. I can check the catalog right now. I want to say they there will be, but I thought it was like a sixty three wide or something. Yeah, that's let's see. Uh, sixty two wide will be the biggest. Sixty two. 
62 wide. Yeah. So there you go. So, you know, it's one centimeter longer. Yeah. All right. Yep. Let's see. Uh, let's look for another one. Okay. Take this super chat from Hana. Spin for Slimothy Whitman, the third Esquire DDS, wherever he may be. Oh, you lose. Oh, you got one of the goes. hard ones to lose, too. Yeah. Okay. Slushy Shredder, stoked for everyone that's making it to Thirsty Thursday. Don't gunk your gungus on the T bar. Hashtag L Stacker is missing. Hashtag find L Stacker. Hashtag letters loves lib. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a very Boise uh, hashtag for all three of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll do we'll do a Boise meetup in the future. We'll get everyone from the city Northwest to drive to drive to Bogus Basin. That'd be sweet. I'd be super yeah. into going to Bogus. I'd be down. That's the part of Idaho I don't mind. <laughs> I've never been, so I got no gripes. Ollie, some slow signs. All right, we got Carpe DMTC. Bought a K2 Alchemist base partly on your review. Thirsty Thursday will be my first day with it. Permission to make fun of me if I bite it? Uh, you have permission. We got to do it. Yeah. Yeah, Shame. Shame. Shame on nah, everyone. Be fine on it. Shame. It'll be fine. The runs will feel like they're half the size, though, because you'll just fly right down them, but it's going to be fun. Just remember, good it's board. 20 minutes to get up the front side on the chairlift, yeah. but it's only a minute to get down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Ski Cooper. Can't get lost yeah. there, though, because no. it all catches yeah. you in the one base area. Yeah. Not like being at Copper today and herding cats. Yeah. Hey, what the hell are we waiting for? They're like, oh, we got Gorb coming, and then we got to meet these people over there. And I'm like, okay, well. Click the links. Click the links. All right. Okay. Got another super chat here from Insulin Diabetics 801. Do you guys skate much? TC seems like he probably shreds tranny and hill bombs. This half pipe footage notwithstanding. Hashtag Jib Ski School. I haven't skated in years because I'm old. All I do is go to the gym in the off season because it feels better. It's far better than throwing myself down concrete. Yeah. I mean, I used to skate a lot. Like I was never any good, but yeah, I like riding like bowls and stuff like that. That was always the funnest to me. We do some hill bombs and steamboat. Those scared the shit out of me. Never liked doing it, but you know, a couple beers going down the hill never hurt anyone. But yeah, I, I gotta get back to it. Truck, hill bomb. Yeah. <laughs> That's a problem. Like, well, I was, I think I was like 16 at the time. This is in Cherry Creek, New York. So, like, the main hill goes like this and it comes down, and then the main road is here. So, this is like one of the side streets. Mm -hmm. So, this is like the only hill. And it's like two in the morning and I got a fucking, I got two forties in each hand, I'm like 16, 17, just chugging forties. And I'm coming down and I, I go to go through the intersection. And my friend lived across the street where I'd stay. And all of a sudden I just hear, and it's just like fire truck and ambulance. I went right between the two of them. And I'm just like sitting there with the forties. And I was like, there's cops. I got to run. And I'm like running down the street with forties in my hand. Like, total fucking super bad moment. <laughs> yeah. Still not as fun as bombing the hills in Jamestown, New York, because the town, the city goes like this, flat. It's like very San Francisco hill bomb. Mm. You get fucking wrenched at like three or four in the morning, then you go to Denny's to sober up or to lick your wounds. And we used to go in, and there's always this one chick. She was fucking miserable, and she absolutely hated us. Every time she'd be like, you fucking assholes. And I was like, I don't know why she hates us. We're the only ones that ever tip her this early in the morning. <laughs> and she was such a bitch. There'd be like frat bros and shit just over there all fucked up, like starting fights. And I'm just like over there just silently bleeding into a napkin. And I'm like, it's okay. And I was like, 
you know, I'll pay for my $5 meal and with $10 and be like, just keep the change. You look like you need it. You've made some really bad life choices. You're a Denny's waitress on a Thursday night at four in the morning in a college town. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't skate. I would like to skate more every year. I, I'm like, I'm going to skate more. And then I'm like, my body hurts. I'm just going to go to the gym and work out and sleep and hang out with my dog. The other thing is my dog's not the best with other dogs. So I can't take her down there and tie her up because she'll just sit there and bark. Yeah. I'm not going to be that guy. It's not fair to her. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I don't bring Griff to the dog park or to the to the skate park. I'm like, we're not doing that. He didn't need to go. Too My hot. friend had a dog that it was total skate park dog, but it would wander out into the skate park. And then it just became like skate park obstacle dog. And you're like, well, I'm going to go hippie jump the dog. And the dog would just be like, uh, huh? I'm going to go over here and lay down under this rail now. Yeah. Like move it. Move it. And it, just some shade. it just didn't give a shit. It was doing its own thing. It's like over there peeing on the rail. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, dude? Come on. Ugh. Well, you're going to click those links. All right, our boy Ruff, who made it up today and didn't die, spins for pocket rocket laps and chairlift gamer goo. I made him eat some gamer goo on the chairlift first thing this morning. It's what a real thing. Goo? It's from Japan. I don't know what it is, but I wasn't going to eat it because I didn't know what was in it. But it looks like it should be poured over tentacles. Yeah. It had the consistency of KY jelly after it's been used. That's okay. Sadly yeah. descriptive. <laughs> yeah. But it's very Japanese. Was it tasty though? Did he like it? They said the taste was good. It was the texture that was awful. Yeah, I could see that. That's original flavor. Well, we'll just bring your stickers tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we got a stack for you. Don't worry. We're bringing gifts tomorrow for people too, so don't worry. We got stickers, we got stuff for people, gifts, presents, prizes. All right, your guitar one. Any updates on the Wired Community Board? Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram at Angry Snowboarder, I posted in our story today. Uh, Rob is cutting it and finishing it up, so it's almost done. So pretty soon we will have that out into the wild. All right. Victory Stone, how's the edge hold of the Battalion Cruiser Plus? Been looking at one for next year, but heard mixed reviews. Well, if you watch the review of the Battalion Cruiser from TC or the Cruiser Plus for me, it was not good. And the Cruiser Plus is gone next year. There's just a new cruiser, which actually rode better than the one we rode for this year. Yeah. I know. Uh. 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 All right. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, man, there's no cruiser plus next year. You should be looking at the chameleon instead. That board rips and we'll have reviews of it because okay. as of today, I think TC and I are almost to 40 reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting for 200. Working on it. Yeah. Getting I want to shit on everyone else that does reviews and be like, why can't you do that much? Yeah. <laughs> bitches uh, okay we got jason robertson hey guys just left the lookout pass board shop looking into next season for a new board got my eye on the captain of black snowboard to death mega death the ride peace seeker or am deep fake as a daily do all suggestions get the deep fake and cover everything out of that whole list that's the best one there you go that is literally yeah. the best one uh And this is a rough one from IK. Got ran over by a chairlift for the first time last weekend because the lift he forgot to put the cushion back on was lifted. So glad I did not die. That's how that dude got his butt 
all over the news over in Vail when he the chairlift, the seat was up and he fell through and was hanging upside down and his twig and berries were dangling out and everything. <laughs> a lot of people got fired for that one. <laughs> all right. Super chat from correct opinion haver between a Kabatakazu and a Mega Merc for next season for free red and variable terrain in the Pacific Northwest. Thoughts? Love my Kazu, but trying to diversify. See you guys out there tomorrow. All right. Another person coming to Thirsty Thursday. Hmm. Um, I mean, the Kazu is the big mountain Mercury. So yeah. They changed it from the one you had. I mean, honestly, couldn't go wrong with either of them but i would say go with the kazu if those are your two choices otherwise i'd pick up a deep fake or an alchemist yeah because i mean that the mega merc i feel like it's gonna get bounced around quite yeah. a bit once stuff gets like just the slightest tracked out like it's with well, the kazu is probably gonna be more stable for you where it's got just a little bit more guts tip and tail or it's not gonna bounce around yeah but exactly. i mean if you already have a kazu i don't know if i'd buy another one like yeah. So exactly. That's that's my thing. I mean, being up in the North Pacific Northwest, I would say like definitely go like more like an alchemist deep fake type scenario in there. Those yeah. ones, even even in like a like pick up this year's Rome Ravine Select. Give yourself yeah. something a little more versatile and different. Yeah. So. Diversify your board folio. Yes. Remember, the proper number of snowboards to own is the number of snowboards you have plus one. Yeah. N equals the number of snowboards you have plus one equals the amount you should have. At this point, everyone that watches this channel should just own 30 or 40 snowboards. <laughs> I expect everyone to have a 203 by next year. Yeah. Everyone. That's it. And then at Thirsty Thursday, it'll be a meetup of 203s. Just fucking 203s in every direction. Having to ride that chairlift with a short, stubby footrest. Yeah. Just, dang. Oh, yeah. God damn it. No one better put the friggin' bar down tomorrow on that chair. I'm not joking when I say that the footrest is like this big. It's fucking I'm penis. Put it down. I'm putting that thing down. You're a bastard. <laughs> I'm not riding with you. That's fair. I'm forcing you to ride the T-bar with the beginners. Nuts to nuts. Whoever wants to double up, let's do it. You and Ruff, face to face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll be good. Oh, you got nothing. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Avalar, my ride C6 bindings are causing pain on the outside of my foot. Only happens with those bindings. Any fix you know for that? Or are they just too narrow? They're probably too narrow. That's mm -hmm. it. Or else you've got to move, unscrew the strap and move it over one more setting. So you've got, because if it's on the outside of your foot, I'm assuming it's from the ratchet. You need to move it over just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we got this super chat. This is for you from BCMs. Just remember, if you kick me down on the T-bar, I'm taking you with me. That's for you, TC. Hashtag ride T-bars. Still at copper. Hashtag Gorvithy road trees for the first time. Hashtag hit like to pet TC. I gotta, you gotta give credit to Gorvithy. He, he flew in from Ontario for this. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 the furthest one traveling in. And he's never it, like sea level to 10,000 feet elevation in a day. Yeah, he's just like, he got to the bottom. He's like, how are you guys having conversations? And I was like, yeah. simple, man. This is just what we do. And he's like, these runs are so long and so what? And I was like, it's only like a mile, man. It's okay. <laughs> he's just like, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I was like, I might have to go to the store and get him one of those little oxygen whip it containers. So tomorrow, because I told him, I was like, Ski Cooper's higher elevation. He's like, what? Yeah. And I was like, yep, it's a higher yeah. elevation, man. And he's yeah, like, can't oh, I air might actually work. Die. <laughs> Stay hydrated. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, we can bring your stickers tomorrow, too. <laughs> Everyone's getting stickers tomorrow. That's factually true, actually. That's so factually true. I've got so many fucking stickers I'm bringing tomorrow. I'm bringing mystery gifts, too, because I keep finding stuff I need to get rid of. It's like, well, I don't know. there's another prize pack. Oh, I'll just throw that together. I like this one from Orian. I've seen several clues for sale on Facebook after your review. So have I. I've been noticing a lot more people that were like very pro clue suddenly like, well, I'm going back to my other bindings. It's like, gee, did you fucking learn their death traps? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, from Avalar. Never rode a T-bar before. Am I in danger? There's no safe spaces on the backside of Ski Cooper. It's all or nothing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Lean back. Be safe. Put a stomp pad on your board if you're that concerned, but uh, you'll be fine. It'll take a couple. But you'll be good. We are going to be at the bottom heckling. Yeah. <laughs> we should get scorecards. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the freaking dry erase board. Yeah. I would enjoy that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be funny. All right. And our boy, Pat Zaransky, nothing good happens on Flyer after 2 p.m. Nothing good happens in the park after 2 p.m. Actually, nothing good happens at Copper after 2 p.m. Because by that point, right now, this time of the year, everything's in the shade and it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to leave. You just want to leave. This isn't blank. All right. And we got this one from Milo. You said last week that there are big changes coming to Arbor. Looking at getting the Coda. Is it worth waiting for the new one or save some money and get this year's on sale? This year's is more freestyle friendly. Next year's goes a lot more directional. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Take this one from Just Ripping. Looking for a do it all board that's lightweight, medium stiff, but torsionally soft for ice coast riding. Thanks. Uh, you might like the Stolly Cruiser. Yeah, that, that would probably be a good one for you. Um, that's a good do it all. I mean, even the Mercury Mega Merc, the Mega Merc is going to be lighter than the regular Mercury. And there's good torsional yeah. flex, but it's got a ton of rebound. It breaks in at about 10 days, give or take, in there. So, yeah. Yeah. That's a weird combo of having a stiff board, but it's torsionally soft. Can I go mean, to it's tweaker, I guess. You could, you could go, I mean, depending. I would say like a berserker, but. That's not really a do it all board. No. And it's not that soft torsionally. <laughs> like it's that mid stiff, but it's narrow and it's it's kind of condensed. You get a zero. Could do a zero. Because that's Ryan. got that yeah, it's got carbon three in it. Or yeah. underfoot there's no car or like in between your feet there's no carbon. Even that nitro team would work. Directional twin. Yeah. That's that's fine. So all right, got the super chat from Eric Klein. Angry, Franken binding new cleavers with the Battalion Infinity straps about a month ago. Mostly seamless. New favorite bindings. Thanks for the info. You're not the only one that's doing that. Kevin yeah. B's today, I looked down and I was like, oh, cleavers with the Astro heel strap on there. And he's like, yeah, best setup ever. And I was like, there you go. I was like, it's okay. I uh, I got to make some Franken Battalion uh, black labels. So I'm. Yeah. So the battalion footbed is two degrees and I've got a set of Astro ASIMs. If I want to order the zero degree, they're $49.99 on the battalion website. They're $29.99 on the Rome website. So they're getting Rome foot pads on them <laughs> in there. And then I was like, well, I'm going to rip that high back off and put the black label high back on it. And then I'm looking at it and I was like, I'm going to put the old first gen 
black label heel strap on. So I'm like, I'm just going to be making battalion room combination bindings. It's going to be great. That's how I roll. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, TC rigged this. Why are you rigging stuff? It's a shame. Got to do it sometime, you know? Yeah. So we got Braden. Good intermediate board to pair with the Ride C8 bindings. I have no interest in exploring the park at this point in time. 185 pounds, 5 foot 9. Get a Jones Frontier. Solomon yeah. Assassin. Well, Frontier might be too soft for C8. That's fine. I don't think so. <laughs> It's fine. Put him on there. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I don't know. Get a K2 instrument. Yeah, yeah you can do that. That won't be bad. Yeah. Throw a ride shadow ban on them. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you could do that. You could do... I mean, you could do a six stick. You could do... Oh, you could even do like a Rome Ravine, just a regular. You'd be totally fine with that. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not going to overpower the board with the binding. Yeah. You could do a K2 like broadcast. That. Yeah. Well, you could do a broadcast. You could do a passport. I mean. You could do a Soli Grail from Amplid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got options. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Libtech terrain record, GNU anti gravity. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got this one from Cole Pappas. How long does it generally take to adjust your balance and technique to a moderate adjustment to stance width or toe angle? Been experimenting and find myself trading knee pain for good toe side turns. I don't know. Well, a lap for me at this point in my life. Unless my yeah. stance is super narrow. Like it. it I'm not noticing much of a difference. <laughs> I mean, once I got it set, that's pretty much it. Like, yeah. I try not to tinker with it too much. Like, I mean, I guess this year I had a little bit of hip pain, so I just, like, bumped it in an inch width-wise, and I was fine then. And I don't even, like, notice a difference when I ride. Just when I get done riding, I can walk a little bit better and not be like, oh, my hip's sore. I'm doing this all day. So I don't know. Normally I just notice it right away and it just feels fine if I did it right. So yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a fun one from uh Rich Foster. The Casey Willicks Japan video. Guy had angry Casey and bunkhouse stickers on his helmet. Thoughts. Two of those aren't bad. <laughs> one of those might get your child shot in the hand. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got Centauri2410. Hi, angry guys. I was having issues with heel lifting my boots until I added a butterfly wrap. After 10 days, I'm getting heel lift again. Any advice? Locking my heels down for good? Thanks. So if you're still getting it after that, you might need to put a small C bar. So like you trim it and put it on the inside of the butterfly wrap. Or you're going to need to do like a tongue shim to push you back into it. Or it might just be time to admit that your liners are packed to shit and you need to move on to a new boot. Yeah. Yeah. Boots might be too big too. But yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, if you already put one in, probably time to get new boots then if it's still yeah. Still blowing out on you like yeah. that. Steven Montrez. What? There's a live stream today? No, this is a figment of your imagination. Stop dropping mushrooms and going on the internet. Ugh. <laughs> Your guitar one. What's the worst board you've demoed so far this year? Do you mean 2024 or 2025? Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a bold statement. We're in the middle of pro product testing. So far this year, I haven't really had anything bad. I mean, I've had some boards that were a little slow, either because of the wax or because the sampling was a little off. But other than yeah, that. Yeah, it's too early to say. We haven't gotten everybody's in yet. So I don't want to, I don't want to bury a board and then come to realize like, three months down the line that there were much worse ones out there. Yeah. So you're going to have to stay tuned on that one. If we're You'll talking know, about drink, I... your stuff that's for sale, I think that drink cocktail takes the cake. That thing was pretty much fucking ass. The Battalion Cruiser Plus or Carver, yeah. 
or it was the cruiser plus cruiser but i think that was a sampling issue i think that they need to fix their sampling uh, that, yeah. that thing was incurred um oh that battalion 20 year because the base was the stickiest thing i've ever ridden it was just like eh, eh, eh. so yeah yeah mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay, from Wallabeezy360, I have the bent metal actions on my GNU headspace. Thinking of buying a pair of vices on sale for around 200 Would that be an upgrade, or should I be thinking katanas? It's it's going to have a different flex in it because it's a two-part chassis, so you got that uh, ASIM wrap in there, so it's going to be a little stiffer and more rigid in the heel in there. It's also a more damp binding. Like I think the vice is a great segue into Rome bindings for sure. If you're looking for an incremental uh, growth with it, it makes sense. If you're looking for rapid aggressive, then go to the Katana. TC has to ride some Katanas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got them sitting in the box over there. Yeah. You know what I got sitting in a box for you? Union Force Classics. Cool. I mean, I rode that binding for I know two and a half years. <laughs> I know you did. Just to write a pass. And then I gave you a set of A10s. Thing. Yep. Before you worked Those for me. Yep. Back when I, when you weren't sure if I liked you or not. Yep. <laughs> he gave me bindings, but he doesn't talk to me. When he keeps yeah. busting my balls. But when he shows up, he's like, are you going riding or am I going alone? What the fuck? Yeah. Ugh. All right. We got this one from Jason Sung. Hey, guys. How do you overcome your fear on steeper terrain or <laughs> relatively new here? Go fast, take chances, scare yourself once a day. Yeah. I mean, honestly, once you, it's easier to learn on steeper terrain than it is on like the bunny hill, in my opinion. It's like riding a bike. If you go slow, it's going to be hard to balance. The faster you go, the more like gravity and everything takes over where you're not going to just you're more over. likely to hurt yourself more abruptly on a slower fall than you are on a blue blue or green run than you are going Mach 10 down a black. Yeah, it's true. I was explaining that to my old roommate's kid. And I was like, I told him, I was like, we were riding and he would just fall going so slow. And he'd just be like, Oh, it fucking hurts. And I was like, then go faster. And he's like, what? And I was like, well, if you fall when you're going faster in the way you fall, you're just going to butt skid and slide. So I got him up to his fastest speed he'd ever done. And he ate shit and just fell on his ass and slid like 40 feet. And he's like, didn't hurt and i was like told you mm -hmm. i was like when you fall and you just go to an abrupt stop it hurts but if you fall and go with the slide and you tuck your body in and just slide with it you're gonna be fine yep Ugh. Ugh. okay we got this one from skip skipper any changes coming to the 2025 rome ravine select it's not the select anymore it's the rome ravine pro <laughs> love that board i've been riding the past three versions i'm pretty sure it's just the graphics that have changed um no because they changed their rods they're not doing the bamboo omega hot rod anymore it's just carbon hot rods in them so the flexes do change you haven't ridden it yet have you the pro yeah no you did you rode yeah, that rode the other day that's right i rode that monday yep. yeah we were riding that monday we were smashing pow and i mean you rode the regular ravine so you know yep yeah i mean Shape wise, no camber profile, no. But yeah, just the, the rods and the tail, yeah. making the tail stiff. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I noticed in the Rome line, like the flexes, they'll be like new shape, and I was like, and the flexes have changed. And then I was looking at the catalog, and I was like, hmm, this one has bamboo mega hot rods, and next year's is all just carbon hot rods, which is going to change the responsiveness of those rods. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay, we got Aaron Barella. I just did my first few days in the backcountry, and I'm here to say I'm a resort boy through and through. Shit was too much work for a couple runs. I love flying couches. I love flying yeah. couches. I am lazy as fuck. I am not split boarding. I am not going through all that hassle. Get out there, dig a pit, check everything. Ah, it's fucked, and then have to go home. No. Yeah. No. Fucking lazy as shit. Ugh. All right. Okay. We got Pete GWW. Best board for cruising an entire resort. Butters, jibs, side hits, 
and never going too fast. An intermediate all mountain freestyle board. Got a whole list of those. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what I would say. Like yeah, something solid, intermediate, all mountain freestyle. Mm -hmm. I'd say like that medium stiffness is probably as stiff as you want to go if you want to like jib mostly and yep. butter. That's what I would say. Yeah. I mean, grab a Rome Warden. Love that board. I was, I was thinking like a Disaster Plus even. Like yeah. that thing's gonna be soft. You can still turn on it, but yeah, there's. There's a top speed on there for sure. Huck knife. Huck knife. Yeah. Yeah. K2 after black or a medium. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'd probably go after black over the medium yeah. on that one. Ride zero. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cap it to DOA if you really want to, I guess. But personally, I do an indoor resort twin, but that's me. All right, we got Mike T. Does anyone make a board bag that will fit A203? That's a good question. I don't think so. It didn't fit in mine. Doesn't fit in stick mine. It... No. I just stick it between the front seat. <laughs> yeah, me too. Maybe I could see some, like, maybe if you could find a, uh... you know, those ski jumping skis, those big, long ones, those big yeah. sons of bitches. Uh, yeah, maybe one of those. Sport tube would probably fit it if you get the wide one because it's it, yeah, it's collapsible. So yeah, that could work. Shit yeah. ton of saran wrap on the nose when you put it in your board bag. I don't know. <laughs> no, you gotta go ranquit style when you when you show up to the airport. You put the tag on it, you put your boots in the bindings, and you just throw it on the conveyor belt, and you're like, if it makes it, it makes it. <laughs> <laughs> Sir someone says surfboard bag. That's actually not a yeah, bad surfboard call. bag would probably fit it actually. All right, this one from Joe Gunn. Is it true that the Jones Mercury bindings are better than the Rome Black Labels or even the Clues? Just kidding, just kidding. Love all the videos this year, thanks. I mean, everyone knows the Clues are the best. They're $500 for a rental binding. <laughs> Honestly, no one needs Black Labels. I will straight up say that. I don't even know why I have. I'm now up to six pairs. Five, five pairs? Five pairs? Yeah, five pairs. I'm up to five pairs. Soon to be six. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that's like the uh, the union. Atlas it's over FC. three thousand dollars of bindings. Yeah. Well, now that they're all broken. <laughs> hey, man, those are artifacts of the history of Angry Snowboarder. They must be culturally right. preserved. No, they don't. <laughs> I still got to make a video on how they broke. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, that was. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I say that, but I probably won't. I'll just schedule a video for tomorrow and then eat my baked potato and and grilled chicken. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. So, fucking clues. Five hundred dollars for those pieces of shit. <laughs> there was a cluser roaming around Copper today. There was. Yeah. I saw a bunch of them actually parked illegally uh, when I went and parked at Copper today. I saw them just make their own spot, California rental plates, and uh, just hopped out all clues, like five of them. I was like, they were driving you them on. Yeah, it was awesome. I was Fuck. big old Cadillac. I was like, damn, okay. Really can't feel the wheel with your snowboard boots on. <laughs> it's impressive. I still like the girl yelling at me yesterday. You can't park there. It's the sidewalk. And I'm like, I've been parking on this for seven fucking years. Where the fuck you been? <laughs> well, well, I parked right there again today. She didn't say shit I again. I saw that. Well, I saw that today. I was like, damn, okay. Well, when I showed up, those were the only two spots open. So I was like, I guess I'm parking on the sidewalk. Yeah. The dude in the booth even he cheered me on when I did it. He's like, fuck yeah. He just told me, he's like, good luck finding one, dude. I was like, well, we'll figure it out. Like, whatever. Or I'll make one. I don't care. Yeah. I found one. It was perfect. Yeah. But Joe got cucked. Next question gets a spin. Uh. Uh, let's see. We'll take this one from Bart Simpson's head. 
So in next year's Supermax, the Cyan ones have dropped in a couple of local shops. Any advantage of them over this year's models? Are carbon ones coming next year too? Worth waiting for? The carbon ones are coming. I don't know if it's worth waiting for. It's your fucking money. I'm waiting on mine to show up so I can test them. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. But otherwise, I don't. I don't think there's any difference between this year's and next year's. Is there? I think. Are they just offering a bigger size, or did they start that this year? I can't remember. It might be next year. I think maybe in different sizes because I thought this year they only had like medium and large, or medium large XL, large whatever it was. There's only like two sizes. Yeah. 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 But you can spin. Jesus. You got cucked too. Uh, Let's see. Your guitar one. What if Buckhouse shows up to Thirsty Thursday? He'd be shitting himself in the parking lot with the amount of angry fans. Top the fact, some reason probation let him out of the country. Where'd he uh, go? Clue paid for him to go to Germany to promote their product because they've got to do, they're doing damage control from the review. I thought it was hilarious that I oh, called yeah. up. They didn't really prototype it. So they made a video about, we did nine prototypes. And if you look at them when they're holding the prototypes, you're like, different colorway, different colorway, different colorway, different colorway, different colorway. I was like, you didn't do nine. Maybe you did three. But I was like, you didn't prototype it enough. You didn't make a functional prototype to send out for mass testing like most normal companies. You just put it out there. So, yeah, they're in damage control. It's fucking hilarious. All right. We got Liam H. with a super chat. I need a new board for a deep pow in Japan. Please help. Battalion Surfer, the 203 Quiver Cannon, because, you know, it's a 203. Might yeah. be a lot more bored than you really, really want. Uh, the Endeavor archetype for a swallowtail, the Borealis Leviathan. What do you got, sir? I know you got something up your sleeve that starts with Jones and ends with Expander. <laughs> no, I was gonna say the Nidecker gun. Take oh, it big. Uh, uh, otherwise, that or the uh, the the Solomon Taka. That's like a one seventy four, I believe. It's gonna be soft, but it it should float for you really well out there. Um. Otherwise, if I was gonna go Jones, I would almost say Stormwolf because I yeah. think that would be that would be better than a Mind Expander, in my opinion. The Amplet Snowball um, EA comes to mind as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what about the Leviathan by Borealis? I said that. Oh, did you? Okay, I did. You weren't listening, sinner. Nope. Shame. Nope. Shame. <laughs> Shame this man. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, that's a good amount then. Yeah, I feel like that's that's more than enough options for pow riding over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's it going? Oh, you lost a turn. Brutal. Uh, let's see. Got this one from T Turtle Eleven. Hello, friends. I'm five six hundred eighty five pounds, eight point five boot with the fifty four Jones Ultra Mind Expander. Be a good fit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you're good. Yeah, that'll be fine. You're validated. Yep. S zero one Bert and I on shelves stitching unraveling suggestion. Contact their warranty department. I guarantee you, they're just going to give you a brand new pair of boots. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Burton. That's a Burton issue right there. Oh, another lose a turn. And we got our boy, Turkey Loco. Mammoth is deep right now. Just caught my nose and did a rodeo flip under chair nine. Call it a day. Watch angry. Smart man. <laughs> you know, you're like, I got shit whipped. I'm going. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to yeah, go watch a lot of but it's good that Mammoth's getting snow. That means it's probably working its way here. We need more snow. Yeah. It's been warm the last two days. I had to park in a pond today when I got back. Like, I got out and I was like, oh, this is fucking deep. It was over my boot. Oh, and God. I, like, oh, I better not freeze around my tires tonight. I better be able to get out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> suck. Go out there with the blowtorch. Have to, have to thaw it out. 
I'll probably move the car tonight just to be safe. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, last I took the dog out last night at like eleven o'clock, and it was thirty-five degrees when I went outside. Dude, it was forty in the car when I pulled onto Main Street, Frisco today. At like, yeah. yeah. So, all right. Next question gets a spin. Let's see. All right, uh, I'm gonna find one. Okay, here we go from Silk. Would Rome Vices pair well with a Rome Warden? Fuck yeah, both are heavily discounted. Buy it, buy it. That is the perfect Rome on Rome setup. That binding that was literally made for that board. Just fucking buy it. You will be so goddamn happy. So. Why you got to be rigging these guys' questions? The, the wheel. Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Why you got to be that guy? All right. And we got Aaron Burrell. Any funny mountain troglodyte stories lately? No, they, they, they've been... Other than the fact that TC got to film a family trying to drive right through Center Village. like We watched him pull right past, too. We're, like, walking there. Like, how's he going? I was like, oh, shit, he's going to drive up there. I was like, he thinks like he didn't turn the left before. He thought he was supposed to take that road up to Center Village. I was like, this is awesome. It's not even a road. It's a bike path. That's what's even funny. Yeah. And nine time, like 90% of the season, it's covered in snow. It's just that one time this weekend that it wasn't. And it was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like just straight up past ski patrol and everything. Everybody's watching. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? But yeah, that that's pretty much the last. Oh, we saw that guy yesterday in the lift line too. That uh, his ski was about to pop off, and oh, that fucking idiot! We told him he's like, which one? And we're like, what, dude? Just turn around, like that one. And he's like, I wonder, I was wondering why I couldn't turn or like go straight. We're like, what? I like a just second, he would have got. I should have just kicked the side of his boot and kicked it right into the binding for him. And I'm like that one. There you go. Yeah, hard, wild stuff. It was busy yesterday for no reason. It was busy this morning when I got there. Yeah. Yeah, when I first got into line, I was like, it's going to be another one of these today, huh? Like, yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. But it, it emptied out pretty quickly. Yeah, it was weird. No, the bigger troglodytes are the dumbasses driving. I'm like, why are you people in the left lane doing 10 under the limit? Like, you're afraid to pass a truck. The roads are fucking clear. Yeah, oh, there was a... Uh... There is a California driver driving with their hazards on and chains on their tires going like 30 miles an hour on 70 past. And I like passed them and I was like, huh, I wonder where they're going. Cause just fully chained up roads dry as can be just beautiful day for driving and just going 30 in the right lane with hazards on. It's like, Jesus guys, like take your chains off. It's that's it. Like, I think we need to make a video about when you should and shouldn't chain your vehicle and how to chain up your tires properly. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing, but just get four wheel drive car with good tires. You don't have yeah, to worry about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> just get a good. That's it. You don't have to worry about anything. I'll see if my friend will let me borrow his Porsche. There you go. Make sure you chain it's the. Not front. like an eighty four nine eleven. Yeah, he drives it in the winter with studded snows. That's fair. That's not bad. He'll whip that thing around corners. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, we got Piff. First board for my 12-year-old kid, shoe size 10, 5, 320 pounds, ride agenda 54 wide. Boy, that's a literally low weight for that size, but if he's 12, he's probably going to have a growth spurt in the next year, so I say go for it. Yeah, because, I mean, at 5'3", that board's almost as tall as he is, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. With the, the other option size. would be go find him a ride war pig in a small – yeah, that would probably be a better option almost. Like, 
Because then he can still ride that when he gets up to like 160 pounds or whatever. Like he'll still be fine on that. So that might be a better option for it. And you can find last year's or even this year's on sale right now. So wouldn't be a bad choice. Yeah. All right. Give this give this man a spin. Lose a turn. That's rough. All right. We got Jack off B. Saying hang on behalf of the pre-thirsty Thursday Copper Side Hit Slip Crew. And thanks for the tour day, Copper. Hang slash name gamer group. If I didn't have to leave, I would have taken you guys somewhere else, but you guys are like fucking herding cats. It's like, oh god, we lost another one. Where'd they go? Yeah. Oh man, I just lost an MM. Oh that's bullshit. My blood sugar's low. <laughs> Yeah, TC rigged it. Mm. All right. From John Sliney, I picked up a Capita Indoor Survival, and I'm moving my katanas from my ravine to that. For the ravine, should I grab cleavers or splurge on black labels? Probably upgrading to a select in a year or so. Uh, you don't need black labels, so to save your money. If you're going to go up to a select and you want more power, get the cleavers. Otherwise, I'd say, or wait till next year. There's a Katana Pro coming out. Yeah. But I'd say just grab the cleavers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Carlitos Taquitos. Arbor Candle Rain 161 or Nitro Alternator 160. If you want the Candle Rain, you need to ask yourself if you're ready to ride something that fucking goddamn aggressive. It's got like this much camber in it. It is stiff. It is possibly the only other board I think that I've ridden that is stiffer is that Nitro Pantera back there. And it's in the same category as that Candle Rain, in my opinion. That thing is a fucking beast. The alternator is far more approachable, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah solid David daily driver on the alternator. Uh, yeah. You want to be on your shit for that Candle Rain, for sure. I. Yeah, the whole day you're like, God damn, is this thing stiff, dude? Like, like this gives the commissioner a run for its money. I'm like, no shit. You're like, yes. Like, well, you uh, saw okay. me hit that roller where it just compressed, and I just yeah. disappeared. Like, I hit a roller that we've hit numerous times. It compressed into the takeoff. I didn't even load it. I was just gonna go over it. It compressed so aggressively. Next thing I know, I'm like six, seven feet in the air, just going down the hill. Like, where the fuck am I going? Like, that thing is, it's burly. It's very, very burly. All right. From Slushy Shredder, have a pair of Ride C6s sitting in the box and nothing to put them on. How'd they be for the nerd superposition? If you're looking for something a little more loose and you can get a little slashy with, totally fine. You want more power? You're going to need to bump up to a stiffer binding. Yeah. Uh, okay. From Stephen Montrose, just warranted my yes optimistic. Any ideas on boards that are similar? Six three, six foot three inches, hundred eighty five pounds, size eleven boot. What do you got, TC? I know you got For something. An, op an optimistic. Yeah, yes optimistic. Hmm. I'm thinking free car for six thousand. Yeah, I've never actually ridden the optimistic, so. Oh really? I thought you had. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we well, never really carried that on next year. Tools. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you think a free carver six thousand? Yeah, I'm thinking a free carver six thousand would be the right way to go with that. Maybe maybe a Nidecker thruster or maybe a strand of Baru. Um the fuck was that? Someone's fart can just rattling on their little Subaru. No one cares that you got a Forester 2.5, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I think that would be where I would go with that. All right. From Alan Poon, 
What do you all think of the 2025 Union Falcors? Heard it's getting a stiffer Union Ultra base, if I heard it correctly. I've got them sitting in the other room. I probably will not even get to them for another week. i got a lot of shit to ride. They look cool. They, they definitely look, look different. It does not look like the same base as the Ultra. I, no, it's the same. Definitely. It's the yeah. same type of technology with the air pockets and everything inside of it, but they did it in a much different way. So I'm actually very interested to see what you think about those ones because that looks very interesting to me. That base, especially, and the high back looks pretty good too. Now that it's asymmetrical. Yeah. Hang on, I got to scroll down because this is important, and I need to make sure on something. All right. So from Bart Simpson said, was tagged in a post promoting angry sweat shirts on the Bernie Saunders meme on the Facebook page earlier. Legit or just a spammer looking to be banhammered. Send me that link. I want to see it. I want to see if someone's ripping off our design. So send that to me because I need to know because if it is, I'll hit them with a cease and desist. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Okay. Where were we? From Fritchie, finally caught a live stream. Give me a spin. Also, I have been on GNU Riders Choice C2X for three years, and I'm ready to take on a camber board. I was thinking the Captain to Mercury, but wanted your suggestions. Do you want a twin? Do you want directional twin? That's the difference. The Captain to Mercury is yeah. a directional twin. It is going to have more camber than your C2X. Flex-wise, they're fairly similar, in my opinion. Like, they sit in that same category. So, you know... Um, but not going to have an asymmetrical edge either. Yeah, it's not going to be asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for something like that, you want camber and asymmetrical that's like your rider's choice, but can be a little snappier, ride bench warmer for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You got anything else for that, man? Nope. I think that'd okay. be fine. There we go. <laughs> Oh, it's a question. I don't know what that means. I just put it on there. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Uh. I like this one from Alan Poon. Is Buckhouse as clueless as... As it seems, yes, he's a fucking retard. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Disc and roll and ride. Hey, guys, I just picked up the Roan Freaker at 40% off based on the fun shape top five. Fuck yeah. I have the Roan DODs already and just grabbed some black label high backs off eBay. Thoughts on this combo? I hope you did not pay more than $20 for those high backs. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, slap those on the DOD, throw it on there, and go ride. You'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a fun one, too. From your guitar one. Has anyone from the from Clue tried to reach out to you since the review? No, they've just upped their targeted ads with their shitty influencers, so I keep getting hit with more of that bullshit. Uh, all right, we got a super chat from Insulin801 for Averin's K2 Thraxis boots. Why are you giving me five bucks for? They work. They're fine. I'm on a new pair. This, They've only maybe got 25, 30 days on them. They're fine. They're fine. Probably said less than that. No, about 30. I'd say about 30. Although I do have a lot of pairs of old Thraxis sitting in this room. Toe side, never. Ugh. Okay. And then we got correct opinion haver. LibTech Retro Ripper for Deep Heavy Pacific Northwest POW. If not, what would you take? I mean, that's not a bad option. Like, that yeah. thing's going to be damp enough to cut through all that heavy cascade concrete you guys get up there. I don't know. Dinosaurs Will Die POW Reaper should blast through that heavy shit, too. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think a retro ripper is out of the realm at all. That's probably, I mean, if you got your eye on it, you might as well just pull the trigger at that point. Cause yeah, yeah. it'll get you where you're going. Yeah. Hmm. 
you just rigging shit today. Non-stop, TC. <laughs> uh, Someone's got to do it. Let's see. Take this one from Ragai. Have you tried the new Union Felcor? Is the re redesign looking positive? It's sitting in the box in the other room. We will eventually get to it. You lose. Ugh. This is a funny one from Insulin 08. I have a mountain troglodyte story. At Brighton last Friday, saw a skier and her friend lean all their shit against the workbench and actually say, it's okay, nobody uses this. So when they walk away, you go over, and what you do is you take the number three screwdriver and you stick it in the back of the binding, and you turn that number down to the lowest setting you possibly can. Just turn that so the DIN setting goes down to like a zero. That heel piece will just keep popping off and they will not know what they're doing. Then they'll need to go use that tool bench, but they're too stupid to. It teaches them a harsh life lesson. Or if they've got newer bindings that are actually threaded in with a number three screwdriver, unscrew them. Take the heel piece right off the binding. Put it on and then turn it around and put it back in backwards. No, I, I'm, I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> Like, I'll do that. Like, someone did that one time with a snowboard, so I reversed their straps. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, well, my straps are on the inside. Ratchet's in. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here we go. From Mary Kenenny1234. Hey, guys. At what point should someone upgrade their first beginner boots? 32 shifty with two flex. Still in good shape, though. If you're, when you're tied up in the boot and you're going toe side, if you can feel your ankle just collapsing the top of the boot and the side is bowing out, you're overpowering it. It, it means mm -hmm. that you need something stiffer at that point. You know, like if you feel... Or if your foot is inside that boot and it's moving around, it's time to go to a stiffer, more snug-fitting boot. All right. All right. We'll take this super chat from Eric Chen. Need help with my son's board. He's 11 and 73 pounds. Currently on a Burton Custom with Jones Asteroid, but I really hate channel system. <laughs> Likes cruising. Thanks. So you just want... um. I mean, at that weight and age, he's kind of like, you can pretty much put him on any kid's board. And like, what's Jones got? Jones has that. Um, they have the, the Prodigy. Prodigy. Um, yeah. They have the, like the youth flagship as well, which is literally just a flagship scaled down. Um, which might so be a good thing. It. If he just likes cruising. Yeah. I mean, that would probably be like your best option if you like just cruising because all the same technology and their men's and women's boards go in there. So like it's a super solid board. I think they also have a youth flagship uh, ultra as well. You probably don't need that, but I would just go with the, the regular like youth flagship and call it a day. Like um, that'll last for a, a long time. Doesn't yes. Have like a kid's board. That's kind of directional. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, they have the, well, they have the, yes, it's like the kids 420, but then they have, they have a basic as well. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, I mean, you could do like the, the youth zero or the ground zero ground. Uh, that'll cruise just fine for them. Huck knife and ground too. Huck knife ground. Um, Nitro has got a bunch of stuff too. And then Nitro, well, they have the, uh. Yeah, what the hell is that called? A little Vulcan graphic one. What is that called? Oh, yeah. I know which one you're talking about, and I can't think of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but otherwise, so does um, they have like the Dyna or LibTech Dynamo Grom as well. I don't remember what they uh, call Dinos it. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. That's what it is. So you can also check that out. That might be a, a really good option for them too, if you just want something directional, cruisy, that sort of thing. Yeah, that would be a good option. Oh, yeah. 
chopping shit over here. Ooh, I rigged it. I rigged it. <laughs> Ooh, I rigged this one. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I'm doing things. All right. Colton Buchanan, donation for TC alcohol. Please give us a drunk Gilson review. Hashtag TV gold, but we're not on TV. We're on the internet. That would be funny. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's my grandma. She always thinks I'm on TV. <laughs> she thinks you do commercials. That's true. Paid commercial actor. <laughs> you should just tell her you're an OnlyFans actor. Background She'll only. have no idea what that is. And then maybe she'll she... ask about it. I'll be like, what? Yeah. I had You'd to explain no to my idea. Mom what OnlyFans was. My 79-year-old mother. And she's like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, that's a thing. And I was like, that's my fallback. That's my fallback. She's like, what? And I was like, I'm going to show my butthole for tokens. Mm -hmm. Or feet pics. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Whatever brings in more money. At this point, yeah. It's my fallback. Although, my friend Kevin told me that they're building a one-bedroom apartment over their garage in New Jersey. So, and he's on full government disability from VA and he's a firefighter. He's like, I'm making all sorts of money right now. And I was like, you are my retirement plan. If everything fails, I'm moving in. It's me and the dog. I'm just going to hang out at your house all day. Not do shit. Cause you don't have to pay property taxes because in New Jersey as a 100% disabled veteran, you don't have to pay. He's like, I'm making so much money. I was like, you were coming out ahead. Yeah, that's nice. So I was like, I'm like, I'm stoked for him. Oh, spray some skiers. Spray some skiers. All right. Chris Yee saw ride A8 and C8 for cheap. Is the difference between them pretty subtle? Also, is there a significant difference from my Jones Mercury. Oh, there's a huge difference between your Jones Mercury and them. And there's a difference between the C and the eight series. The eight series runs narrower. There's the A series runs narrower. And it's also more rigid because of the aluminum in there. It doesn't dampen as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the C's are somewhat comparable to the Mercury, but like they're, they're pretty actually similar with the same flip the strap idea and everything i think the ca's are probably a little bit stiffer on the high back so keep that in mind but yeah yeah somewhat right. similar christian burr asks ride super pig or nitro dinghy for a one board carving pow resort ripper board dinghy floats better in pow than the super pig carves just as good so i would say go with the dinghy for sure uh yeah. Okay. Simon asks, any boards you're hyped for next season? What do you got, TC? I mean, like, that I've ridden or, like, yeah, just boards yeah, I'm looking both. forward to? Both. I mean, that... No, it's not behind me. Uh, the Beyond Metals Battalion was sick. Like, that board surprised the hell out of me, actually. That I was that like board. one I was super it's excited tall. about. Also, that's on sale right now at Evo. And that has one of the coolest graphics ever of that girl doing like the ballerina skiing. Fucking rad. So that one was a blast. I really enjoyed that. Otherwise, um, the Rome Ravine was really fun too. That one surprised the hell out of me where it rides a lot. A lot more stable under that back foot, which I wasn't expecting. Like it carved so well through like moguls and shit like that, that I was like, okay, I'm into this, but what do you have? Uh, 203, 203. <laughs> Everyone needs to get a big black cannon. They need that BBC in their life. Look at this thing. It's big. It's black. You know, you want it. You know, you want it. Um, uh, let's see. No, so I actually like the revamp of the new Rome Warden. I rode that yesterday. I was really, really stoked on that. I rode the Stale Cruiser today. A little softer. That Battalion Chameleon is fucking phenomenal for next year. Like, I really enjoyed that so far. That one was a standout to me. Um, kind of curious on some of the Mervin stuff because they've got Camber again. So... 
I'm really curious how that's going to go. I mean, they got 14 or 16 profiles now. Uh, so, yeah. Oh. And then yeah, I just want to see, I just want to see how all of yes rides now. Yeah. Like their bindings and all that. I do want to see how all that stuff's going, but you know, yeah, that stuff, until the end of kind of interesting. K2 has got some stuff. I'm intrigued by that new ride moderator. Mm -hmm. um, the new mellow from Nidecker and that whole sensor series from them too. So yeah. 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 All right. Jake Venn, so is the new Almanac K2's version of a volume shifted directional like the dance hall? It's basically the replacement to the party platter. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Ah, I think I found my m, &M. <laughs> Sock m, &M. It's a fucking come up, dude. It's a brown m, m on a brown carpet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a come up, man. All right. Rough with the super chip. I'll have Pocket Pacificos tomorrow for the lift up. No, you're going to be sober. You have to ride a T-bar. No fault. Oh, I curve. love me a good Pacifico, though. That's a beer choice right there. You guys can drink Pacificos as you go up the T-bar together. Yeah. Facing each other, staring into each other's eyes. <laughs> nuts to nuts. Yep. Tip to tip. You gotta, you gotta go around each other's arms yeah. and drink it. while you're holding the T-bar between you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, I'll probably be in front throwing snowballs. No, you're in the back, remember? Oh yeah, I have to wait. Even stories at the bottom. Yes, I, I have to heckle from down below. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm doing there. So. Jesus, man, you're winning more stickers. Ah, ha, ha, you got nothing. This isn't blank. <laughs> uh, ooh, here we go from Kilovolt. Red deep faker, K2 Alchemist for charging down the mountain at top speed. Alchemist. Mm -hmm. Top speeds mm -hmm. only, Alchemist. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And because people keep asking boot questions, Slushy Shredder wants them to know the best boot is the one that fits your foot and fits your needs. That is factually true. Go try mm -hmm. on everything. I can give you all the recommendations you want. doesn't mean it's going to fucking work. <laughs> and Josiah asks, is the candle rain really that stiff? Arbor says it's only a seven. Yeah, Arbor's flex patterns for next year are so fucked in the ass. Yeah. Like, fucked in the ass they're like yeah this is a mid flexing like you rode that metal machine mike little's pro model yeah. they're like jib stick and i was like that's not a jib stick TC's no the thing was stiffer than the coda yeah that was stiffer than the coda camber and i was like what the f like because they also call the coda camber i believe they call that one a seven as well and you're like eh, i don't know about that like that's not the same well, as the rain and i wouldn't even put the carbon coda in the same category as the rain like the rain is in its own category. Yeah. It is. Well, like my favorite is so the Satori and the Carter, both volume shifted boards. You can ride three to five centimeters shorter. They straight up, they say that they're both the same exact flex. And I was like, no, the Carter's stiffer. You can feel it. You can feel that it's stiffer. It's it's got more power out of the tail. But but they're supposedly each a five, which is the exact same flex as the Verado, the board that's replacing the Coda Rocker. And I was like, not even close. Like they're they're all different. So yeah, yeah, it's it's really weird. I don't know what where they got that scale from or any of that, but there is no rhyme or reason to their scale this for this upcoming season. Yeah, no, it's it's this is why we don't give numbers to flexing because yeah. TC was like, yeah, it's like a seven. I was like, we don't give numbers, and you're like, okay, we don't give numbers anymore. His first review, I was like, we don't do numbers. Numbers don't yeah. mean shit. Can't quantify it. We don't have That's a camber true. calibrator. <laughs> I'm saying though, this all goes to shit. Maybe we'd invent one and then make everybody send them to us. Yes. And we'll just, we'll pull our own Gore-Tex thing where it, it really doesn't mean shit, but you know, you see that little Gore-Tex on the, the sticker and you're like, I like that now. And it's yes. like, you know, same idea. This one's been certified by us. Bam. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Don't need it, but. 
We also need to invent a machine that'll turn reverse camber boards into camber. Yeah. You should bend it, heat it up with a torch, and just press it right back. It is basically, it's a press that just pushes it right back yeah. into camber. It'd be like, oh, you want a lot of camber? Here's 25 millimeters. Yeah. Fucking... yeah. Like the old nitros that you could slide another board underneath. Oh my god. All right. Letters. Y'all got any more of them spins? Hashtag Tyrone Biggums. You lose. All right, we got Mark Andre Williams, GNU Bank Country K2 Alchemist, or the ride deep fake for all mountain free ride. Deep fake is going to be the most balanced out of those three. Alchemist is going to be yeah. the stiffest, and the bank country is going to be the most back foot dominant. There you go. Ugh. All right. Brian asks, have either of you gotten on that almanac yet? Is it an upgrade from the party platter? Did you get a hold of Ben Bruce? No. Did you wash your ass today? I did. Did you wash but your then I ass? Today? Did you contact the K2 rep today? I could do it right now if you want. <laughs> Ask him for a catalog too. Okay. I need to look at it. All right. We got Gorbathy saying Gungus. Poor dude, mind was blown riding a real mountain because he left the flats of Ontarable. He also had the fattest pants. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He also lost a turn. Uh, BZMs, Averin will only let people on his only fan for Rangoons. Man, Rangoons ain't paying the bills. I need dollars. I need cold, hard American currency. I accept euros, Canadian. I also accept pesos. Try again. Okay. I'll take this super chat from Sibby's. Are there any camber rocker camber boards anymore or boards like that? I think the Rome Reverb Rocker, what I've written for years and need a replacement. I mean, are you talking like the weird ass hybrid in the middle? That's C2X and C2. Yeah. C2E. Go check out Mervin <laughs> and GNU. Plenty of them. Avoid the lasagna camber over at Never Summer, though. That shit's catty fucking wumpus. Does Nitro even make their fucking gullwing anymore? I think it's gone finally. Last year was the last year for it, I believe. Okay. We had them at Evo last year, and I just kept laughing at it all the time. I was like, really? Like, didn't have enough of these kind of boards, but yeah, I think it's finally gone. There you go. Toe side, never. All right, we got Alexis Rodriguez. Just picked up a ride twin pig. Talk nice about it. No, I don't like that board. It sucks. It doesn't deserve to be it. in the ride lineup because they have the zero and they have the bench warmer. It's fucking worthless. Every time I get on that board, I am severely disappointed. I have no idea why it exists. Anyone that rides it always complains to me that they're like, I should get something. I was like, yeah, get a fucking bench warmer. Get a zero. They're both better. It's ass. <laughs> All right. Here's something nice about it. Uh, sneaky power board. It's got a big platypus tail and nose on it. So when you're landing and pow and stuff like that, Floats really well and it just pops right up. So there you go. Yeah. All right. We've got another super chat from BZM. Bring your uh, big black cannon to Thirsty Thursday tomorrow. I want to ride it. Hashtag gonna die. Hashtag wife. Trademark can shred. Hashtag L Stackers Adventure. Hashtag cluming so hard right now. Hashtag T bar will be funny. I don't have room to throw that in the car for tomorrow. <laughs> So, no, it stays here. Yeah. That one doesn't even fit the roof rack. Oh, well, you're getting stickers tomorrow. Again. Again. Mark that down. We'll bring more stickers tomorrow. That way we don't have to mail them to save money. All right. Corey Chan, Rome DOD or Nitro team for a K2 antidote? I'd do the DOD personally. 
That's me. <laughs> All right. And our boy Travis Hoffarth from Jones Snowboards, who will be joining us tomorrow with no demo fleet. <laughs> Do you guys support localism? Where are your grandma stay type biz? <laughs> Can we see your <laughs> What the hell is this grandma stay type biz? This is an inside thing between you and him. So this this was uh he went to Crested Butte last week for a demo and stuff. And I guess if you don't double up on the T bar going to a zone there, people will like yell like that sort of thing. Um, or like, where's your grandma from? Like, is she from Crested Butte or Colorado or like shit like that? So it's like a local elitism almost. Uh I'm going to Crested Butte and riding the T-bar by myself, and I'm going to heel side and hold on to both sides all the way up the fucking thing. That's funny. I'll be a dick about that. Hey, Travis, did you wash your ass today? <laughs> I'll give you a spin. We'll see you tomorrow, Travis. Bring your dad. Bring Robin with. That'll be fun. Oh, Travis, I'm going to give you stickers. I'm going to put them on your truck. <laughs> you're not looking. Right on the fucking windshield. Dead center, right news. where you look. Goddamn little hobbit. Uh, oh, this is this a good one. This truck's so big, you're going to need a stepladder to, to put it on, though. Oh, no, I'm climbing right up across the hood, and I'm going to whip my dick out and leave a balds and dick imprint in the dirt. I'm going to pee down into the vents, too. There you go. Brian P.S. Have you picked T Bar Buddies yet? I'm running. <laughs> TC gets rough. <laughs> Everybody find your accountability, buddy. This yeah. will rotate throughout the day. Uh, I like this one from Or Ian. You definitely need stickers that say certified by angry St snowboarder. And I was like, no, nah, certified's okay. But I there's people that always want to come to the reviews looking for validation. So I want to be like, my snowboard was validated by the angry snowboarder. My and my binding purchase. It's right up there with a uh, fuck your feelings. I don't care. Your bindings fucking suck. Didn't we, didn't we talk about that on Monday? I think so. <laughs> or, or did I just think about it on Monday where I was like, yeah, we should come up with some some validated stickers. <laughs> you might have thought about it. I don't think we talked about that. Okay. But yeah, we All should right. do that. All right. Eric Kim asks, currently riding a 2016 GNU Riders Choice C2. Is a Jones Mountain Twin worth upgrading for all-around resort? Yes. Get some camber under your feet. Full camber. You're going to like that. I would say uh, wait till next year, though, to do that. It does up? get a little... It gets a little beefed up next year. They put the salt stringers Ooh. on the tip and tail. So it gives it a little bit extra oomph to it. It allows it to last a little longer, too. So I would say probably wait and grab one of those next year when they redo it. All right. Jason Robertson for the ride deep fake. Uh, which size with 11.5 boots over 215 pounds for weight? So you probably want to go, what is that, six, 60 wide? 61 wide? What is it? Yeah, something like that. 60. There, maybe 62. It's like somewhere between 60 and 62. Yeah. That's, that's where you want to go. All right. Cole Buchanan, did you see that boot wrap that connects any boot to a Burton step on binary? I saw it on Facebook. Corin Addison. Anything Corin Addison creates, do not fucking touch. That dude created a powder board that sucked. He owns that company, Soul Stick or, Soul, Soul, or whatever it is, out of Eastern Canada. It's it's fucking the boards are trash. He's trash. His designs are trash. He's a shitty fucking human. Like that dude is just everything is his way only, and he's the best at it. And everything he does that he touches looks half-assed and crap. He sent me a board that literally could not ride pow. Like it was fucking ass. And then I I wrote it, and he's like, "Here's me riding it on a groomer. Look at," and he's like running through trees and shit with it. And I'm like, "Dude, if fuck it, it's in the can Kevin carve it." series kevin almost dies in the first five feet of riding it's the worst fucking snowboard like you made a pow board that sucks as far as i'm concerned i've written your company off i've written you up that dude is a fucking kook he's a pile of shit like his big claim to fame is that he helped reinvent like kayaking well when you look into it the dude placed 27th at the olympics for kayaking or something he basically was like a wild card slot and he invented some weird thing that no one uses. 
But that's what he claims. And it's just like, dude, fuck that guy. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. We got Kevin Wynn. I'm going to Japan. Should I buy a new board or just ride my custom setback? Rather than buy a new board, go to Japan and demo a bunch of their POW surfboards. Save yourself on the baggage fees. Just take your boots and bindings with you. And then you don't have to deal with that bullshit. And if you like it, buy it. Yeah, because that'll be like 50 bucks max a day to like rent a board or something like that. Like I, I would cheaper, cheaper than that. Someone was telling me. I think it is. It'd be, like, it'd be like with the exchange rate, it was like 15 or $18 US. Yeah, I've heard between like 30 and 50 bucks. So I don't know. I think it's worth it. I like especially since they make some sweet boards over there. Like you could probably get on something there that you can't get here, which will yeah. be like super fun and a great experience for your vacation. So I would say that might be the way to go. And if you don't like it, go trade it in for something that you're used to then. Yeah. But like, yeah, but I would not ride a custom set back if I went to Japan. That's like, that's like going to the Autobahn and then asking them for a Nissan Sentra. I was thinking like a Civic. I'd be like, no, I want an M3. Give me the fucking BMW M3. I'm going to go blow the engine up on this bitch. Y'all got any Civics laying around here? Yeah. <laughs> it's like showing up to an exotic car dealership and be like, you got anything that's like even more automatic? Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that paddle shift. I don't want that track mode. No. You, know? you got any smart cars? You guys got a Prius? Yes. <laughs> I want that good gas mileage. You guys charge by the liter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. We got Jack asking, I'm a park beginner, but carve around the whole resort as well. Do you recommend a Capita Indoor Survival, Capita DOA, Burton Customer, Burton Freethinker? Only one on that list worth a damn is the Indoor Survival. Yeah. Yep. All right. Wawa, Noa, Joaquin, Wawa, Mr. Miguel. Guys, just got a crazy deal on an antidote 158 wide and some ass battalion Astro ASIMs. Is that a good pair? Fuck yeah. I ride everywhere in the resort. Love to carve and side heads. Love power when it exists. I'm 5'8, 200 pounds, size 11. Fuck yeah, dude. Go ride, dude. You don't need our validation. Fine. That's perfect. You're validated, my child. Save five hail slims and spray three skiers and go on your way. All right. Well, I think we're uh, kind of done for the day. You guys are slowing down with questions. I think we got through everything. It was a surprise Wednesday uh, live stream. But for the rest of you guys, we'll see you up at the, that are in Colorado. We'll see you at Thirsty Thursday tomorrow at Ski Cooper. So remember, try to get there early, 10, 10 a.m. in the base area by the main chairlift. We're gonna. That's where we're going to do like the big meetup and go ride, do our thing. Uh, Jordan from Nerd Snowboards will be there. He's going to have some boards. Uh, Travis from Rosnold's going to be there. He's got the new Slashimi. We've got a few other reps popping through. Nick from Zeal Optics will be there. He was there last year when he was our Rosnold rep. But, yeah, we're going to go ride. I think it's going to be a good day. I'm figuring somewhere between 20 and 40 people. So, yeah. Okay. So, anyways, um, we'll see you guys next week for a regular scheduled live stream on Thursday. Later, guys. Thanks.